Hi, this is Dr. Yang. In this video, I wanted to show you how to turn two layers of t-shirt and a paper towel, which is the masks for all design. I'll uh, show it right here um, and the link below and turn it into a three-dimensional structured uh, face mask, which has all the characteristics of the mask for all design. So the format of the, the video will be an overhead tutorial where I will as quickly assemble the mask in uh, about uh, a minute, 30 seconds. If you're still interested uh, after the overhead tutorial, then I will get into more detail. So without further ado, let's get started. So when we place the paper towel in, it should fit nicely within it. We're going to place this piece of acetate, uh, which I'll have the, the size and description below. And we're going to place this in the center. Just lift up one sheet and we're going to just lay this with the flaps open and try to center it so it's in the middle of the, of the mask. Okay. I'm going to fold it up and then down. Same thing with the bottom. You're gonna fold it right up to the edge of the acetate and fold it down. Now you're gonna pinch it. You can see it, it's already holding its shape. Hook the rubber band. Okay, same thing on the other side. So as, as you can see, when we place the paper towel, it goes right up to the top edge and to the bottom edge. And then uh, there's our Omega mask. No stitching, just folding like we did with the paper towel. I'll show you my preferred method for wearing the face mask. What you're gonna do is remove your glasses or safety glasses, um, could be an Oakley something wrap around which protects your eyes. You're gonna just pop this flat mask open and notice when you open it, it immediately becomes a dome. Um, this way the mask material is not pressed up against your lips. Um, and then if the mask material is touching your lips, the uh, cotton will wick away moisture or saliva from your mouth and slowly make the mask wet. By having it sort of dome shaped and not touching your lips. Notice my, you can't see my lips moving. Um, that helps prevent it from getting wet. What you're gonna do is then place your glasses or some kind of sunglasses or safety glasses so it presses on the top of the mask that will press and seal to redu further reduce uh, the chance of uh, fogging. So I hope you liked the video. Uh, if you did, give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you're interested in these types of videos or other potentially explanatory videos of medical topics, which I may go into in the future. Um, other than that, we'll end the video here. Um, it will continue on later for some people who have additional questions about what I just did. Uh, see you on the next video. Bye. Hi guys, uh, thanks for staying after class. Uh, I'm gonna just post a list of topics we're gonna go over so you know what to expect. Seven inches, maybe just a, an extra eighth of an inch. And then over here, this is about 11 and a quarter inch. Okay, I have my Rangers t-shirt. You wanna flatten out the t-shirt, make sure the edges are lined up as perfectly as you can. You're gonna use the paper towel as a template to help line up your cuts. Um, leave maybe a, an eighth of an inch at the bottom so that the paper towel doesn't stick out.
we'll start off over here. And if you're gonna err on one side, I would err on cutting it a little bit bigger. Um, as you wash it, it'll, it'll shrink. Uh, there's a little hem left right here. Let's just cut that off. Insert this inside the t-shirt here. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to make a, a stiffener uh, you can use uh, like a folder material or cardstock, uh, let's say a manila folder uh, that you might get from the office. Uh, in this case, what we're gonna do is because uh, uh, printer paper is much thinner, we're gonna actually fold it onto itself to make it twice as thick. Um, this is a temporary measure. Um, what I want you guys to do is try to get some uh, acetate, such as this, uh, like clear acetate, uh, which is stiff. It's not vinyl, it's more uh, stiff uh, like paper. Uh, the reason I have the material already is because I've been making face shields um, like this one, and uh, I just use uh, you know, one sheet to help uh, make this uh, stiffener. So in the end, once this is uh, cut out, it's going to look something like this. Uh, this is the paper version that I use on my Instagram uh, two sheets. Uh, the way I measured the holes here is I uh, measured from the center and then for every half inch I marked a dot every half inch uh, down the middle and punched holes and then in order to not weaken the paper too much I staggered the holes and did another half inch below, so it creates this diamond shape. Where the paper towel inserted seven inches wide, that gives you an extra three quarters of an inch on each side in order to create the tabs to fold over to the mask. Ideally, you can get some uh, acetate, which I'll put in the description below, uh, you know, what type to buy. And then you can just cut one strip, uh, create the, this pattern like this. Uh, you only need a single layer in this case. Punch the holes and you're good to go. So I'm gonna do that quickly. This ruler happens to be uh, one and a quarter inch. So I'm just gonna clip that in here and clip this here. And then I'm just gonna cut along this edge right here. If you're just gonna use the binder clips, you can just trim off uh, at right about eight and a half inches. This one's actually nine inches. But if you can't get any binder clips, I mean, these you can just buy at Staples or just buy them off Amazon. They're three, three quarters of an inch wide. Um, you can also use a safety pin, but if you do that, you'll need to create holes on the side in order to pass the safety pin. Um, I strongly suggest that you just use the binder clip method. It's much easier uh, and you won't need to poke holes into the uh, cloth, okay? So uh, right here, let's, uh, I'm just gonna leave it at nine inches and not, not cut them. And we're, we're just gonna make a little dot Once you have uh, th this piece, uh, you're gonna bend it right around seven inches. So what I would recommend is uh, you have that measured, just hold your ruler up against it, maybe go an extra, give it a little slack, um, and then just give it a nice crease right there, okay? 
and you can bend it more in a, in a little bit. So we have a crease right there. Give it a little bit past the uh, roller, and we're just gonna give it a little bend right there. So now we have a little tab, and we're just gonna crease it. And you can see there's a little fold right there. We just finish off the crease. And then there you go. If you don't have binder clips, you can use the safety pins or you can just sew it. But I think, uh, you know, with sewing, even though it's just two stitches on each side, that still adds time. Um, and, uh, you know, if it's too, too much trouble, like if you're thinking like, oh, I have to cut, cut the stitch and then take out the paper towel and then put it all back together and put one more stitch in on each side and tie it down, you're more likely to reuse it. You might say, oh, well, you know, it's not that, not that dirty. I'm just gonna just use it like two or three more times before I replace it. But if you do it this way, um, you, you'll think, you know, it won't be a big deal. The only thing that's disposable is the paper towel and then everything else is reusable, the cloth, the clips, the rubber band and the acetate, and then you can just keep uh, changing them out. You want the binder clip, this to be flush with the mask. And then this triangle will stick out a little bit. And then what we'll do to make finish off the mask is you can actually squeeze these. I don't know if you guys knew that. If you just squeeze it, uh, you can take it apart. And then when you need to remove it, you can just squeeze it, put it back on. Um, the reason I pick seven inches for those of you uh, who may not uh, know why, um, the regular uh, surgical face masks are seven inches wide. Um, a lot of the cloth face masks that are uh, uh, structured go way past and it's, it's uh, somewhat bulky and it really covers up a lot of your face. So, Okay, I'm gonna try on the mask for you. Uh, what you're gonna do is um, first uh, take off your glasses, you're gonna pop it open the mask like that. Notice it immediately becomes somewhat three-dimensional uh, and did not require sewing a seam right down the middle. Um, this side sort of naturally creates a nose shape right here. Hold that against your nose, loop this on your ears, and voila, your mask is completed. Uh, when, if you do have glasses or some kind of eye protection, what I would recommend is placing the nose pads on the top of the mask right there, just gently, and it just slightly pinches it. Uh, this way, you don't necessarily need to uh, make a metal insert. And this one I made out of aluminum foil, um, and I've used it on some of my other masks, but in general, I'm trying to keep the build as simple as possible, so uh, it's easy to take apart, wash, and reassemble, and it, uh, you know, time, uh, I don't want to waste your time.